making like Swiss cheese on the ice. Looks like the work of a culprit. We better find him. We better find him, he says. <laughs> you better find him. Or I twist the arm like so. I smack you in the stomach like so. And I accept your resignation like so. He's a downright sweet feller most of the time. Just as nice as they come. Gets a little touchy sometime, though. Uh-oh. I think this here's a clue. Something fishy going on around here. <laughs> Just a minute, you, you, you skating rink saboteur? And don't come back. Halt there! Come back, you! Doggone pesky chicken. <laughs> Hey, you! No fishing allowed! kind of cute. Uh, let me see you do that again, boy. That looks like fun. I bet I can do that. I caught you red-handed, boy. I'm giving you the old brush-off treatment. Smedley speaking here. Smedley, where are you? And did you catch the troublemaker yet? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I got him right here. And I'm at, uh, Station 8, sir. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, station 8. Uh, seven, uh, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> this time I'm getting rid of you. Now get lost. Adios, goodbye, and good riddance. Um, and he won't need these anymore.
it was you making holes to catch fishes. <laughs> no, 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 sir. It weren't me, sir. It was that little old... Today, we will visit many strange animals brought here from the four corners of the earth. First, we enjoy a chuckle with that jolly soul, the laughing hyena. Pardon me. Uh, have you heard the one about the old hen who was sitting on her nest? And uh, what happened once ago? <laughs> <laughs> Here, we see the heavily armored rhinoceros. And from the cold wastelands of the Antarctic, we find that lovable little bird, the penguin. South for the winter? Oh my, the penguin's escaped! Help, help! The penguin's escaped! Help! And now, Clyde, you understand, we're sending you south to bring back a penguin. Yes, sir. And mind you, Clyde, if you fail... You lose your job! Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Uh, carry on, knucklehead. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a penguin? Here, penguin, penguin. Come on, chicken. Come to Clyde. Here, penguin. A penguin! How would you all like a great big fish? to slow this boy up. Yum, yum. Nice candy. Would y'all like some? No, stupid. You're supposed to swallow them like this. Get it? <laughs> You swallow them, see? I'm not supposed to eat candy. 2,700 calories is too much. But I'll try it. Just this once. Peppermint. Oh, how I love peppermint. Hmm. This requires strategy. It takes a penguin to catch a penguin.
I've got you. At last, a package from Clyde. My word, a giant penguin. I'm not a penguin, sir. It's me, Clyde. Oh, good heavens, he talks. Let me out of here. I tell you, I'm not a penguin. I'm Clyde. Get lost, will you?
things in the realm of nature more dramatic than the long journey of an iceberg. Starting from the cold regions of the Antarctic, it floats majestically towards the South Seas, where the hot sun melts it rapidly. Often, someone is marooned on these icebergs, and as the warm waters melt his little floating island, he struggles bravely for survival. Then, gasping his last gasp, he sinks beneath the cruel sea. <coughs> Bananas. All I eat are bananas. For 28 years, I've been eating bananas. A visitor? Uh, for me? You know, I thought I saw a penguin. A penguin? <laughs> I'm pleased to eat you. I mean, to meet you. Well, you're just in time for dinner. <laughs> penguin pizza pie. Man, oh man. Don't that sound just scrumptious? Now, don't move. <laughs> now just lie down whilst I make you nice and comfy. There. He's a cute little fella. Shucks. I tell you, I feel like a downright heel. And that's a cotton picking truth. But you know, folks, I'm hungry! <laughs> Here, boy. You and me's got a date for dinner. shoot an old defenseless dog, now would you? I'm under a flag of truce, son. You know what that means. I guess he doesn't. I'll use my Australian boomerang to fetch him. Just a flick of the wrist. And he's back. 
Uh-oh. It's you again. Man, I'm getting off this island. <laughs> Last I'm rid of that big ape. That's what he thinks. aboard my ship 20 years ago. Well, sir, we just made a big haul of bluefin tuna. Now, polar bears like fish. So do little penguins.
my baby on a treetop, and somebody blows the cradle of a rock. When the ripple rates, the ripple will fall, and I woke a baby in the cradle of a roll. Well, that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. And down we'll come, baby, and home. Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? Alrighty. Oh, rock a my baby in a treetop. <laughs>